previously on uongozi for monkey eh? and the baboons. <laughs> for baboons. Problems we had, and indeed there was a leadership problem in our group as at yesterday. We have decided the person going home following this task is Enoch. With the competition getting stiffer and Enoch Njenga from Garissa, the latest contestant to leave, the remaining 10 contestants continue to battle it out for the position of the Kiongozi. The winner of Uongozi will get a six-month leadership prize which will include an all-expenses-paid trip to experience six leadership and governance institutes across four continents, Asia, Africa, Europe and North America. A total of 1.2 million shillings stipend over the six-month period and a 3 million shilling grant to implement a public project of their choice. The Uongozi show is presided over by three judges, Mumbi Kaigwa, Tom Boyer and Mweni Lundi. From time to time, there will be a guest judge depending on the task. Welcome back contestants. Before we brief you on today's task, as has been the case previously, there will be new team allocations and to introduce those allocations, I will invite my colleagues, Judge Mweni. The following are members of the Wazalendo team, who I will ask to move to the right-hand side if they are not already there. Jora Momondi, Felipe Opio Saja, Elizabeth Duya, Adan Abdallah, Zainab Wario. The Kenya Moja team <coughs> will move to my left if they're not already there. And, it seems, the surprises never end. Another reshuffle of the teams. The contestants will have to work with the new team members yet again. And now, for today's task. You will be required to conduct a clean-up exercise in Korogosho. You will be required to mobilize residents of Korogosho to assist you in this exercise, which will take place tomorrow. Those that you mobilize must be mobilized without the use of any financial material or other reward. You will also be expected to make recommendations to these volunteers on sustainable ways of keeping the area clean beyond the task. To facilitate your work, you will be given a cash float of 15,000 Kenya shillings per team. The winning team has three elements. First, the team that mobilizes the most number of people without incentives and has the highest number of people at the completion of the task. Second, the team that successfully completes the cleanup task. And third, the team that has the most viable recommendations on sustainably keeping the area clean beyond the task. Shortly, we will be releasing you back to your common rooms. When you are there, you will be required to select new team leaders keeping in mind that you should select somebody who has not led previously in a task. And thereafter, you will prepare for the mobilization exercise, which will be taking place later today. You may now go back to the common rooms. And with that, the two teams head to their common rooms to strategize. Leader. So if you'd like us to propose, then I'll propose Kezia to be the leader. I second Kezia. The first thing we are supposed to do is to pick a new team leader. As I look at us, all of us have been team leaders before. So it's only Zainab remaining. And now the ball is on your court today. And Kazir and Zainab are the new team leaders who will be going head to head in a bid to lead their teams to victory. Uh, being chosen the team leader today, I have to do uh, my work and I know that we will do our best because I believe in my team. It's a good feeling and um, I do appreciate the proposed to choose me, uh, which uh, I was prepared because I knew 
I had not led. Despite the other time I was given leadership and I turned it down, but of course I knew this chance will come up. We have 20 minutes to have our discussion, and uh, I think none of us know where Korokocho is, and we don't know the problems uh, in Korokocho or how the uh, place look like. I think uh, we should like uh, Google the whole place and then see maybe we can get the problems. For this Zainab minutes, starts uh, off seemingly to a shaky on start. Going to operate okay. in that particular locality. I wouldn't mind pairing you up with Solomon if it's okay yeah. for you people to move. Kazia, on the other hand, seems to have no problem taking charge of the process in spite of it being her first time as team leader. I think, yeah, because we really need to work as a team and we really need to move on and we really need to make this task ha uh, uh, fun and we need to win anyway. The rules for the task are that the contestants must attain a minimum of 25 adults signed up as volunteers to help in the cleanup without incentives. Not an easy thing to do and the teams know this. Our mobilization strategy because by the end of the day the minimum is 25 people. If children come it's because of their own volition. So we need to come up with a strategy of getting more than 25 volunteers. Maybe because we are five. To one, to one. To one yeah. Sub yeah, but because now we need to get like 25 locals and you're already five, I was suggesting maybe we oh, we have a target of five, five, five each. Even if we talk to more than five people, but as long as we get five locals for we each. Will we divide or are we moving as one unit? A way to get people, because you know they said that tomorrow we can use phones to call the people. Yeah. So why don't we make it like a petition kind of thing? Somebody feels more obligated when they put their name and their phone number on a piece of paper. That's one thing I wanted to propose, so, so that when you reach there and you're looking for those people, we get their numbers. Yeah. Then again, tomorrow we'll be able to call. Exactly. Yeah. What so do you think, so. Tim? Um, I suggest that one of the strategies be um, we adopt uh, official and national language, which is Swahili and English, in addressing the, this community. If those people ask for water, it's not something they are going to carry it home. Just the smaller, like uh, the uh, five, uh, the half a liter water can be okay because there's not something that they are going to carry it home for themselves to have it. Uh, this tax will take some five hours or more. Mm -hmm. So it requires a, a very good time of somebody. And uh, we should know who actually will be, might be free actually to come to, to do that task. So it's good also we identify, like I've said, the youths can be the most available people we can get outside there. Mm -hmm. uh, unlike the, the people, maybe the, 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 the adults. Having come up with their strategies, it's time for the contestants to go to Korogosho to begin to mobilize the people for the next day's cleanup exercise. We are in Korogosho and the contestants receive a brief from Judge Tom accompanied by Maldini who will allocate both teams their cleaning zones. Karibuni Korogosho. Muko tayari kuanza kazi? Muko tayari kweli? We need to do a coin toss to decide which side of the mta you will be cleaning. So may I have the team leaders please? If you may decide between yourselves who will be heads, who will be tails. Are you ready? Yes. Heads, did you choose my left or my right? Waza Lendo win the toss my and right, they get to choose which side to clean. Right hand side, Asante Sana. So we have Maldini here, he's the one who will be guiding you through this task. I am very you tena. We can be fresh, Sana. We can be good to Apa. Now we shall play Tanzania. Now play. We can group with more than Tanzania. I group with more than Wazolendo is first to be shown where to clean and they have a few questions for Buona Maldini or rather Elizabeth has questions she wants answered. Sasa hii awareness mnaifanya aje kama watu wa 
Sasa wa ile shida na mpaka kuna pale tunataka. Sawa. Ndio washa baka pale tutafika mwisho. Tuanze hapo baka hapo. Sawa. Alafu katika hizo dakika 20 sikuwa tano. Kila mtu yuko kama dakika mbili mbili kwa kutaka kutukulize maswali kidogo. Kutuliza sio shida. Iko tayari. Kujibu kila kitu. Sawa. Tukienda basi. Sasa. Sawa. Each of the groups gets a chance to go around and assess the area they will be cleaning. And Maldini continues to be hit with a barrage of questions. In case city council, it is plan B. Kesho tunaokota wachafu si ndio? Yeah. Nataka taka ni nyingi of yeah. course eh. Sasa tukiokota eh tukiokota tukiokota tunapeleka wapi? Na unasema huko kwari nini ni risk? Yeah. Sasa ile kitu hiko. Sasa nyinyi 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 labda juu wenye dumping site. Nyinyi baada ya jaribu kunifund wenye gari za kuja kama wenye baada ya sema kama wenye team. Mtangaza vya gari za kuja ama uniambie ni gari za gari. Hakuna vya siwezi wasaidia. Having seen the area the teams regroup to gear up for the mobilization. How easy will it be to get people on board their mission? And remember, there are no incentives to give. We will add up to that list. Sure. By that time, will be given to us as we are implementing the, 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 the exercise, the task, not okay. to go around. We're going with the numbers. Yeah, no so the time is not yeah. up. Yeah. Let's move on and mobilize the communities. Okay. Yeah, the judge will tell us the time is up. It's okay. I think they might not have the strategy quite yet because that was put off until the the sea water on the ground so they kind of put it off a little bit so they need to very quickly come together and put up a strategy on how they're going to achieve that as we had agreed we split into two two groups eh? try and talk to as many as possible we try and get their contacts if we can convince them to be there tomorrow try and take the name and the telephone number how are you gonna put it you convince them your way yeah coming up on uongozi Wazalendo and Kenya Moda hit the ground to mobilize their respective volunteers but things are proving difficult ile tusafishe umtao sasa tuko hapa tunataka kuwaomba kama inawezekana kama mnaweza patikana kesho tujiunge pamoja tufanye hiyo kazi pamoja kesho tulikuwa tunataka kusafisha hapa na tulikuwa tunataka usaidizi wenu mtusaidie katika kusafisha hiyo siku moja naitangarisha hii korokocho mtaona tukiwa wengi tunaweza kesho mimi nitaishia job kuna malipo hakuna malipo tunajitolea sisi wote hakuna kasi ya bure wewe ukagi hivyo ate usema ate wewe unanunua sati unakula na tena kasi ya bure unafanya hakuna 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 usafi kesho hapa hivi kuanzia tu hapa mlango ni kwako okay. lakini tungependa tushirikiane na wewe kwa sababu hii ni sehemu yako yeah. ukijua vile usafi tunafanywa itakuwa mm. rahisi hata kama tumeondoka uendelee kufanya sijui ah. unanileaje kuanzia kesho saa tatu hivi tuko pamoja tuko nataka kuongea na watu kama kuna watu sasa hapa kuna watu niwe peke yako haya basi tutarudi baadaye lakini sasa tutataka tuta tuwapigie simu ndio tujue kama mtatoka na tunaweza kuwasaidia kesho tutashinda tutaenda kazi kuanzia kesho kupa but the contestants are not giving up and no one is escaping their attempts to mobilize namsana mwenye atawasaidia unaojua ni mtaa gani uliokuja korogosh ni mje ni mtaa wa lalahoi mabwenyenye ambao hawajiwezi riziki ya fajiri hajuri choo kama unavyojua ni ndo ama flying papers oh i think they've been very polite and um, they've made sure that they've introduced themselves they've introduced the project what it is why it is they're here um, so uh, and and when people have said that they don't want to be photographed they've been quick to to say okay that's okay so i think that they've been uh, courteous and and polite we can only wait and see
It's early morning on day two, and the contestants are back in Korogosho for the cleanup exercise. But first, a word from Judge Tom. You have 30 minutes carried over from yesterday, so that will be added to your time for today of five and a half hours, which gives you a total of six hours to complete the task. Viongozi, Twendeni Kazi. I'm excited. I hope everything will be okay. Yeah, you can see the weather is good. Not like yesterday we were burning. Yeah, and we are ready. You can see. Yesterday we thought it was difficult, but for now I think I'm psychologically prepared. And uh, I've come in my full regalia. That having been said and done, yeah. mm -hmm. we can draw a quick program. Yeah. Yeah. So that uh, when the team joins us, we are very much organized. Yeah. yeah? yeah. If you don't know when it's going to be so unfortunate, but at the end of the day, we're still going to have helped these people. Yeah. So win or lose, we've helped the community, you know, better their lives. And while Wazalendo review their strategy, Kenya Moja get straight to the business of calling those who registered, hoping they will show up. Elizabeth. We can go around calling people to this station. Yeah. Yeah. So wherever you get convinced, bring to the station, yeah. register so that we can hold people together as, as those ones are coming. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's, that's Please okay. remember to say that they should come to the Wazalendo Hall. Because yeah. now they might get confused. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. They're, they're very focused on the mobilization part of it. They know they have 30 minutes left uh, to, to carry out the mobilization exercise before they actually start the task. Uh, but I, I get the sense that they're a bit concerned about getting the 25 people together that will allow them to begin the task. Strategy lockdown, Wazalendo start the phone calls. From the, from the town of today, quite a large number of people that they had talked to yesterday didn't turn up. For Wazalendo group, there is a lot of the, 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 the women who are from the immediate surrounding area and very few of the young men and older men that they talk to. Hey. The mobilization is going on well. The people have turned out in large numbers. We did not expect it. So, so far, so good. The mobilization was going on so well that Elizabeth even registered children. Kona number seven. Uh -huh. Zero seven. A clear contravention of the task rules. Come on, Tufanye kazi pamoja na tusaidiane kima wazo. Kuna wale hatu jerejista hapa? Anza one. One. Two. Three. Four. Six. Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Twenty-six. Twenty-five. Kenya Moja have made the minimum number of twenty-five people required to begin the task. They are good to go. Mambo na afya, mambo na usafi, sawa? And over at Wazalendo, Aidan and Felipe are only too happy to repeat exactly what Zainab has just said. Zainab needs to take charge of her team. Tutaanza kufagia kutoka hapa, tukizunguka hivi, mkono wa kushoto. Tuna washukuru sana kwanza kwa hivi kusa, tutokeze tuanze kazi, hili tusafishe mtawetu. With the abundant Asante is over, Wazalendo start the roll call. Sasa before to anze, before to inge kwa kazi, nataka ni waite majina, mwenye naitu wa jina anaenda uko, saa tunaanza pamoja. Kwa tupanye kupaya hizo vifavya kujikinga, eh. Sadia below. Fatuma Ali. Kwa jino na kuja pandile. 
Meanwhile, Kenya Moja, having secured their numbers, decide to start by singing the national anthem. Take it away, choir master. <laughs> And both teams are off, armed with gloves, spades, slashers, wheelbarrows, rakes and garbage bags, Operation Cleanup Korogosho is underway. The first bit of trouble is that we have too many hands and not enough gloves or tools. So we're trying to use what we can, call for more gloves because there's so many people who are here trying to help us. It's tough in the sense that uh, when we were seeing the trenches yesterday, we thought there were things we could just probably pick paper bags and then we were okay. But today we are finding we have to dig deeper. So it's like you are digging one's grave. Yeah. Yeah. In as much as people, the, the contestants uh, have made a tremendous physical effort, uh, I'll be looking a little bit more at what they've done beyond the physical. Soon, the contestants begin to encounter challenges they had not anticipated. See somewhere the tunnel is blocked totally. We are trying to get Jembe so that we can open them. It's good. We've got energetic men and willing ladies who are helping us. We never knew that we are supposed to work on uh, the drainage system. The drainage system here is very poor. And if at all we don't work on it, definitely by tomorrow it will block again. Yeah. There's been very little conversation about it being for free. And in Kenyan culture, often when you're registering your name, it means that there's a reason. And it's usually a financial or a financial gain or a meal or something. We have explained to them and they are aware that they're doing this for free. Within no time, Kazir flouts one of the task rules that disallows any incentives, gifts or rewards by deciding to buy water for the locals who are helping Kenya Moja with the cleanup. As the garbage started piling up, Solomon decided to negotiate for a lorry to carry it away. Coming up on Uongozi. That guy is saying he only has one hour and twenty minutes. Fine, sort the community and sort the lorry. Nimemuongezea 10 minutes. Who made the decision to pay the loaders? The person who made decisions to pay the loaders is Solomon. Tempers begin to flare in the Kenya Moja team. Could it be the sun and all the hard work? Okay. Excuse me, eh? that guy is saying he only has one hour and 20 minutes. That's what they're agreed with Solomon. And time is moving. About to finish. No so problem. Very, very While we are about to Bro. finish, let's carry that takataka while we're also cleaning the road. Barabare Jafagiliwa. James, also hear me out. We had given Solomon the task of calling a truck guy. He calls a guy who comes. They agree, he informs us that they have agreed he'll carry the takataka at 6,000 6, bob. So later he comes and tells us the guy has said it's plus 2,000 of loading. So that left us to load. So that was the disagreement that was there. And then uh, I think uh, Kezia talked to somebody else who said they can carry with Mkokoteni at a cheaper rate of 300 per trip. But you see we had a problem, the Mkokoteni guys were supposed to take the trash to an illegal site. I understand that we were getting another offer plus loaders. He will, he, no, he will think about his terms. Meanwhile, let's concentrate with the people we were working with, please. Wazalendo also seemed to be experiencing rising temperatures and not because of the sun. 15 minutes in Aisha. 
And it's the same truck guy that Kenya Moja approached. This is going to be interesting. Kutoa. <laughs> 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 Kuliko kusema hii rori na hii ni kazi. Wekele kitu kwa hii rori si mchezo. Tusha strike a deal na mtu woki nuanguwa ukipata tena prize chip up mbele. Unaivua unanza kupelekea, unasema tinuwepata prize mzuru nunu. Instead of listening to her team, Kazia, the group leader, was listening more to the ideas of the locals. Kuliko sasa kupandisha kwa lori, you know, they also giving us ideas as youths. Let me ask you one simple question. What are you going to do with the guy who you had asked to come and is waiting? We'll have to talk to him. It's not about Solomon me. I remember Solomon him. telling us, all of us, That's yeah. that he has saying. called somebody. And, and we, we all agreed that Solomon go and talk to that person. So Akakuja, the guy came, he said, Mampraise yake. To Kambia Solomon, go back and negotiate. We were somewhere there. To Kambia Solomon, go back and negotiate and get the best trade. Solomon came back to us, Akatwambia. The guy will wait for one hour. And he has said, this, all this will fit into one truck. It's, a, it's, a, it's one trip. So we all said it's fine. So now. The problem is these guys don't want us to help load on that thing. Guys, let, let me say, you've already given them the idea of money. No, no. They should never have known even the issue of 8K. This was our in-house issue. While Kenya Mojo continued to fight, Wazalendo were loading their garbage into the truck. We have a lorry. It is carrying these things. Sawa. It is. It is not. It is an integrity issue. Sawa. To get my green amount, then we go back. Sawa. That's not then, a good deal. So no, no problem. We are mobilize going. Mobilize the people because we need to clean the road. Can't okay. It's like not going to do it alone. Let us. I say to mobilize the people. All of us. Yes. We yeah. don't have money. We, we, what we have is already paid. Okay. So yes. everybody mobilize people. We are going to carry yeah, this are. trash. Exactly. Muna pelaga pita kataka. I've talked to a Mugotani guy there and he told me they are taking it to the quarry, which is an illegal dumping site. Okay, fine. Sort the community and sort the lorry. Simple. Tumaliza deal. And Kizia proceeds to sort the community and the lorry. Kizia is clearly not shying away from breaking the rules. Kwa sababu tume volunteer na pia tuweke tu vitu haraka haraka wakienda kushikisha huko atenda kushikisha na watu wengine. The team leader came up with this idea whereby she felt like we were spending so much. But then the issue is when you strike a deal with a person. A deal is a deal. You've, you've made it. You stick by it. With the task left incomplete, the Kenya Moja team leader was still very confident of winning. Uh, so far, we've tried. We've really tried our level best. Yeah, considering how this place was, we've really tried. We've tried to clean the mtaro, 
as you can see behind us. So it wasn't an it wasn't an easy task. It was a challenging task, but because we're almost through, I believe we've done our best. And the truck driver was impatient. Was he thinking about the other deal he had struck with Wazalendo? ten minutes. I think uh, it is because of a vacuum that was there between us and our leader. Because uh, uh, to me, it is the responsibility of the leader to make sure everything is coordinated and is well done. Was Alendo having finished the task 30 minutes before the allotted time, spend the remaining time engaging the local on the task they have just undertaken. Hey, three briefs that basically were three lectures to the community on what they should do about issues of uh, the environment and keeping it clean and you know ensuring that people are fined <laughs> and so on. So they didn't even give the community a chance to say what they're already doing, if anything at all, what would work, what would not work. Leo! The next day, it's time to go back to the Situation Room and face the judges. Welcome back, contestants. To proceed with this session, uh, I would now like to invite my colleagues to reveal the task results. Kenya Moja, you registered 131 people at the end of the task you had 17 people who remained. However, of those, 10 of them had been paid to incentivize them to load the lorry and therefore you only remained with seven volunteers and you did not complete the task either. Wazalendo team, you registered 171 adults for the cleanup exercise. By the end of the exercise, you had 60 people. You were given 15,000 shillings for the exercise and you spent 8,000 shillings for the garbage collection truck. However, uh, most community members felt that your solutions were not realistic or practical. The winner of this particular task is Wazalendo. And your reward in this instance will be uh, an evening at the village market here in Nairobi. We would not like to move to invite uh, some feedback from the team leaders uh, as regards how you feel your team performed within the task. Uh, we'll start with you, Kazia. The task wasn't that easy. As you people had seen it, we tried our best. We mobilized people. They came in. But I believe also with the, <clears throat> the community and that culture being that the people who are also lazy and maybe they wanted incentives. They thought we're gonna give them something end of the day despite the previous day we were there and we tried telling them this task, we're not paying anything. For the team, it was the best thing. We had the best time to consult and uh, finished our work on time. Perhaps at this point, the next thing I will ask is for uh, some feedback from other members of the team on your respective leaders. We had droves of women coming to help us, but it all fell down spectacularly at one point. And that was the point when it came to hire the transport. Now, Kezia, our leader, she at that point um, broadcasted that we were paying this man 8,500. I never talked or even discussed anything to do with the amount. Let's let her finish and then Thank you. we'll come back to you. So when they heard that, the volunteer mentality disappeared. Before I come back to Kazia, what did you do about it, knowing that these were going to be 10 people who would be paid and so therefore wouldn't count towards the final? We tried damage control where we said that let them load, let them not clean anymore. So if maybe they, maybe they can be counted as cleaners that they had cleaned before there was an incentive and now the only thing they should do is just load. But you knew this was in contravention of the rules. Kazia and Eunice of the Kenya Motor team are not leaving any but issue no unresolved. We and now if they, when they had money, there was no turning back. It was either we were going to pay them to load or they were leaving. 
There's no way I made any decisions without consulting my team. I didn't even recommend those people for us to pay them. It's Eunice who came up and said, now these guys, they don't want, the driver doesn't have anyone to load for us their takatakas. I told her, we can't pay these people. They've been working with us. I I'd didn't like make any Tom, decisions really on curious. my own. Um, I am hearing yeah, conflicting Eunice, stories. Yeah. I'm hearing shaking conflicting their head stories. Seriously. Yeah. And given that we have conflicting <laughs> stories, I wonder if you have anything to... To, to add on this, well, in my, from what you saw? In my opinion, from what I saw, I think the breakdown started when water was offered to the residents, the people who were cleaning, as, for me, an incentive for them to stay on because they said they were tired and they couldn't do any more work unless they drank water. I refused about the water. I but don't you think so. I was standing right there yeah? when I heard you say, let's get water. Is Kazia calling Judge Mumbi a liar? For five minutes, everything seemed to be okay. Until word came to me like, I found Kezia with the people. They are saying you cannot give this business to these people. It is our place. And what really surprised me is that Kezia was speaking, and it's like these people are giving her information like, there's Mkokoteni, let's use Mkokoteni. And it's like she's buying their idea. It's a case of musical chairs in Kenya Moja as the heat from the judges begins to burn. Who made the decision to pay the loaders? The person who made decisions to pay the loaders is Solomon, because he'd already agreed. Who but made the decision to buy the water? The water we agreed as a team. We agreed as a team. Hadlin, please. Who suggested that you buy water? Eunice, Kezia, and uh, James. But it's Kezia and uh, Eunice who came and told us they had decided to buy water. Eunice. Who made the suggestion that you buy water for the, for the team? I mean, it's the team, and so Kazi is the final say. She's the one who's the leader, and she says yes or no. Okay. Back to you, Solomon, because I, 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 this You're story has been so long. <laughs> who, 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 who made one, the suggestion, to pay the loaders? It was Kazi. Who made, okay, and then who made the decision, let's pay these people 150 shillings to load? It was Kazi. Okay. The group decided that water was an incentive. You agreed as a group. Did you? Yes, we did. You did. And yet you went and offered water as your contribution to that exercise. Did you or did you not contravene rule number six, which talks about giving rewards or incentives to the community? And why did you offer water in the full knowledge that it was a contravention? Mm. And water was identified as an incentive. Quite mm -hmm. clearly. Very clearly in the common room, in your preparation. Elizabeth, yes. the task was very clear about who was to be registered yeah. for the cleanup exercise. Yes. Why were you registering children? Despite winning today's task, the Wazalendo team had not followed all the rules. And as it was from the beginning, following the rules was the rule of this task. Okay, children, I don't remember registering children. Yes. Because the women, when, when I started the task, the people were coming to me. Yes, I didn't re You're register. You said too many yeses. Are you trying to convince yourself or us? Okay, I'm not trying to <laughs> convince myself. This yeah. is the truth. If at all I remember, those are a young boy who came around 12 years. I refused to register him, but he told me he had been sent by somebody to come and work. So that is the mistake I made. Did you register him then? Did you register that 12-year-old boy? I gave him the gloves to go and work. Did you register but you him? Didn't register him. Did no. you send him? When he told me that those are director, he said that what? And the director has sent me here to come and register and work. So I was, I got confused. But I, yeah. So you did, and in fact, register him. I think I registered him. Going back to the issue that we are trying to look at, which is. Did we leave the community better off? Yes. Did we leave uh, durable solutions? Yes. Uh, sustainable solutions within that community? Ye yes. Added, did we? Yes. And what, what were they? Cons what told yeah. them, judge? Considering that, uh, remember, uh, like we said, yeah. considering that when we interviewed the community after you had done the job, yes. they said that it was not. Why do you feel that what you provided for the, uh, to, the, to the community is sustainable when they outright say, we'll just begin dumping again? One of the solutions we gave, personally, which I was passionate about and push, t telling them is, if everyone clean a space in front of their, their shop or their, their, their house, you doing your part, her doing her part, him doing his part, 
our environment will be clean. In fact, after telling them so. And you think they don't know that already? <laughs> uh, James, you've been quiet. Who let down the group? In the process of negotiation, we tried to engage her several times. That now Solomon has tried because she is the one we had given the responsibility of doing what? Of negotiating with the lorry and while we continue with the work. When we tell her now, can you maybe go with Solomon? She says, no, I can't go there. I can't do it. And she's the leader. So I don't understand. Okay, I think we've, I think we've uh, probably exhausted our time and we've, oh. we've certainly got the point. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you very much to both teams for your feedback. Uh, we would now like to ask you to leave the Situation Room so that the judges may deliberate. Thank you. It was now time for the judges to deliberate. Fellow judges, we have uh, a decision to make. You know, her ability to turn around and blame her fellow members. The blame, the blame was very apparent in this, in this last session. Yeah. In this last session, she first blamed uh, she Eunice? first blamed, actually, she Solomon? first, before even blaming people, she mm. first blamed culture and oh, said yeah, that, I, you know, maybe the people oh, are lazy. Oh, yes. And maybe that the people are lazy. Just, and absolutely. I thought, goodness me. And then, so she, she'd then gone in with a, with a mentality that it was, that the task was almost impossible. Yeah. To do. Right. Contravening rules clearly laid out on your task guideline. Rule number six that I kept reminding him of. Yes. You are not supposed to offer incentives to draw or to persuade community members to participate. And they discussed engage. that as and a group. And they discussed that as a group. Not once, not twice. Mm -hmm. Because as we asked Aidan, did you bring this up? Or did you bring up this matter? Yes. Not, not once. Mm. Quite a number of times. For them to agree that this then we consider as an incentive in this group. In this group, yes. And yet he goes out during the mobilization exercise and offers that as a donation from the group. I mean, it seems like it's become something, uh, you know, within our, within our DNA, as it were. You, mm. hear of, you hear of this goes to big man yes. uh, issuing mm. instructions and mm. you immediately feel that you, you have no choice and you don't even think. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so this is something that we actually need to get out yeah. of our systems. Yes. I mean, the, the kind of dirt that was left in, in uh, Korogosha yesterday by I the mean, Kenyamoja team, I think we need I to bring that when the I residents mean, I, wake up I today, was they, just so yeah. unhappy. Zaina yeah. as well has to be careful. This is her first task as team leader. Yeah. She yes. hasn't had that position before. Mm. Right. And she basically just didn't get it yeah. for this uh, for, it's, for the it's task. An, it's so, unfortunate because yeah. she was, a, like you say, a very active team member and performed very well in that respect, but mm. completely forgot the leadership role. Yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah. if it was not for the fact that she had, you know, very strong team members ar around her, uh, that would have been even more apparent. Yeah. So we are good, I think. The moment of truth is here, and an elimination will happen. First, I'd like to commend uh, the team, Wazalendo team, for working very hard on this particular task. But then even while I say that, Joram, you contravened a clearly laid out rule which was discussed by the group, not once, not twice, on the issue of incentives. That is not acceptable. I can see you nodding, Elizabeth. You know what I'm going to say, don't you? You registered children, or in this case, as you say, a child. I'm not sure how many others you registered because the director had sent them to you. Who was this director? That is not acceptable. I'd like to congratulate the group on a task that was very difficult and which was very physical. However, in terms of what it is you then left the community with as a group. I'm not sure that your bickering and your arguing and your leaving all of that grimy black slime and disgusting uh, mess on the side of the road was commendable at all. One of the things that was particularly important to me uh, was the issue of sustainability. Uh, and this is something I mentioned before. Uh, it's important that we leave the community in Korogosho better able to handle uh, issues around the environment uh, in that. But I don't think we were able to go far enough. I don't think we left lasting solutions. I don't think we left the community better able to deal with the very problem that we went there to address. That being said, and the person who will be going home following this task, is Kazia. Following the deliberation of the judges, 
It has been decided that there will be a second elimination following this task. The second person to be going home today is Elizabeth. I saw it, it was bound to come. Because from the time I joined this thing, there's been a lot of wrangles here and there from the first task. So I saw it. In fact, I even thank God I've reached this far. I've not left you to the heavy accusation. I'll just, uh, my parting shot, whoever came up with this uh, um, competition or this concept, yeah? It's a very good concept, it is. But so far, I think uh, the all tasks, the tasks which we've been running around, this should be the fifth task. Most of the people out there don't know what's going on. Maybe it's only one person we met at Korogosho who knows about Wongozi. It has not been advertised. I don't know. I don't know. It has not been advertised. We were in town Europe, uh, uh, around Prestige. Not so many people know about it. They keep on asking us, Wongozi, what is it all about? You people, are you in ODM? Are you in PNU? Are you in TNA? So to me, no much advertisement has been done, no much sensitization. Fine, yeah. There was a whole labalu, people going around the town or Nairobi, Kajado, wherever to with those big vehicles to advertise it. But get to the ground and talk to the people about this thing. It has not reached the common Mwanainchi. Even people who are learned, the elite, not most of them know about this Ongozi thing. They don't know. You ask them about Ongozi, they ask you, are you in Odium? Are you in TNA? They don't know. So it's a very good concept, but it has not reached on the ground. And I think if it goes on like this, it's going to lose its meaning. I'm not living here with a very bitter heart, but I just want to say uh, openness, truthness, fairness, judgment has to be there. I don't think so if this is the kind of leaders we want. We want to change leaders, but you are seeing people who are even trying to bribe other people outside there by buying them water. They are being left. So you wonder what kind of leadership is this we're looking about? Or what kind of ongoes is this you're talking about? Let me say that I'm happy with the whole process. I know that this is a competition. There must be a winner and a loser. There's only one person needed. We were 16 of us. So definitely, people have to go. Despite a tiring and involving task, was Alendo had a reason to smile. They all head out to the village market for a night out. Hi. How are you? Fine. Good morning. What is the next step? Just give me your sizes. Okay. Give me your shoes. That's what right. Yeah, like that. Yeah, like that. Then. Next time on Wongozi. And Kenyans must learn something here called family planning. Tunamchagua mtu kuwa kiongozi, lakini baada ya miezi sita amenunua chopa.